With all the red the markets have been seeing lately, it's created a ton of incredible buying opportunities with some really cool stocks. One of those being IonQ, a quantum computing company that I like to talk about on this channel. And I believe quantum computing is going to be one of the most important industries of the century. And while there are a few companies out there right now that are working on quantum computers, I personally think that IonQ is doing it best. IonQ is actually one of the current leaders in quantum computing, popularizing the concept of a trapped ion quantum computer, where ions are confined and suspended in free space using electromagnetic fields. And I'm pretty excited to see how IonQ will grow as a company over the coming years, as I just see so much promise in what they're doing right now. So with that said, let's discuss the most recent update with the company. On January 19th, Hyundai Motor Company announced a partnership with IonQ to develop what they call new variational quantum engine solver algorithms to study lithium compounds and their chemical reactions involved in battery chemistry. And a lithium ion battery is a type of rechargeable battery that is used in a ton of products today. But in this context, it'll be used in the manufacturing of electric Hyundai vehicles. And according to the article, quantum-powered chemistry simulation is expected to significantly enhance the quality of next-generation lithium batteries by making improvements to the device's charge and discharge cycles, as well as their durability, capacity, and safety. So it seems like Hyundai has been making some really big moves lately. First, we saw Hyundai's ship division partner with Palantir, and now we're seeing Hyundai's motor division joining forces with IonQ. I think what this tells me is that Hyundai is really planning ahead for the future, and they understand just how integral quantum computers and data mining will be for them, and how their business is shaped moving forward. So essentially, this partnership pairs IonQ's expertise in quantum computing and Hyundai's expertise in lithium batteries. And together, the teams plan on creating the most advanced battery chemistry model ever developed on quantum computers. And this is honestly really cool to see, as using quantum computers to build out more efficient lithium batteries is something that even Tesla isn't doing right now. Though I think it's important to call out here that just because Hyundai is going to be using quantum computers to build a battery doesn't necessarily mean for sure that it'll be more advanced than the batteries that Tesla uses. However, I do think Hyundai utilizing IonQ's technology is a strong step in the right direction. And if I were to guess, I'd say that quantum computers, once they become cheaper and more readily available, are going to be used in just about every industry. And with the fact that quantum computing technology is still somewhat in its infancy, I see this partnership with Hyundai as making a bet on the future. So by this point, I think you might be wondering how exactly quantum computers will play a role in manufacturing and creating better lithium batteries. And in the simplest terms, since not too much information is available on this yet, I think this is how you should look at it. IonQ and Hyundai are laying the foundation to create better quality batteries, and quantum computing will be used to more precisely simulate and control their chemical reactions. The research has the potential to lead to new types of source materials that save time, cost, and effort, which is actually a pretty critical advancement, as batteries are typically the most expensive component of an electric vehicle. So if Honda is able to figure out a solution that'll save them on manufacturing costs and effort, this could very well be a huge game changer for them, and maybe even the industry as a whole. And while Hyundai's partnership with INQ was definitely unexpected, at least for me, I recently found out that this partnership is actually a crucial component of Hyundai's strategy for their 2025 goals, which includes the sale of 560,000 electric vehicles per year and the introduction of more than 12 battery electric vehicle models to consumers. And Peter Chapman, president and CEO of INQ, had this to say regarding the deal. Battery efficiency is one of the most promising emerging areas where quantum computing can make a difference. We are thrilled to be working with Hyundai Motor Company on this project to make EVs a primary mode of transportation across the globe. And I think another important call out here is that this partnership is the latest in INQ's continued efforts in the field of quantum chemistry. Previously, 
IonQ's computers were used to demonstrate an end-to-end -end pipeline for simulating large molecules, like those that can be found in fertilizer creation, believe it or not which I think just goes to show the versatility of quantum computers and demonstrates that quantum computers can do more than just solve really complicated math problems really quickly. And just as a fun fact to show you what INQ is actually capable of, INQ's quantum computers have also been used to simulate water molecules, which was one of the very first demonstrations of the potential for quantum computers to handle quantum chemistry applications. So overall, not much else to say here, I think once more news comes out, I'll be able to get a better idea of the progress that Hyundai and INQ plan to make, but it seems the goal is to have an incredibly advanced and working lithium battery by 2025 in their vehicles. And being the fact that INQ's quantum computer is the world's most powerful trapped ion quantum computer, and that their computational power is available through the cloud on Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, as well as through direct API access, IonQ is positioning themselves incredibly well for the future of quantum computing. And that'll wrap up today's video. Thanks as always guys, and I'll see you next time.